At around 2 a.m. on Friday morning, a man walked into this hotel and casino in Manila. He was wearing a combat suit and carrying a rifle. Police say he fired shots and set gaming tables on fire. Police and hotel security tracked the gunman. And at about 7 a.m., they found him on the fifth floor of the Resorts World Hotel. Police say he set himself on fire and then shot himself. At least 54 people were injured. The first fire went off. I froze. When he fired his gun a second time, I ran. But I saw him set the table on fire. He did not say anything. I saw an old man struggling with his cane. I helped him. The police chief said the attack was nothing but a case of robbery involving a disgruntled gambler. He accused hotel security of not doing enough to stop him. The police chief also said this was not a terror attack, contrary to statements previously made by ISIL, insisting the gunman had no intention to kill anyone but himself. But a few hours later, the story changed. It is with deep regrets that we confirm there were 35 casualties in the tragic incident, of which 13 are our employees of Resorts World Manila, and 22 were our valued guests. The executive says the allegation that the suspect was a gambler who lost a lot of money is pure speculation and that they are still trying to understand what propelled the man to commit such a crime. They say the security team was able to shoot the gunman and wound him. The Resorts World Hotel denies there was a security lapse. The police admit their first announcement may have been premature. Based on the CCTV footage, Based on the CCTV footage we looked at, the moment he entered until the end, he was alone. And he was identified all over, from one place to another, from one corner to another. He is the only one, and only he was walking around at Resorts World. Police say they're looking at another person of interest in connection with the attack, a Philippine national. It remains to be seen where this investigation will lead to, but many here say the incident once again highlighted the incompetence of the local police force, most especially in crime scene investigations. Shemal Alindogan, Al Jazeera, Manila.